other with bets, you can always win. That's right, and you guys can do this to your friends as well. But hold up, you guys aren't part of the fam yet here already. I encourage you guys to join, just click the subscribe button and you'll be entered into the current MacBook Air giveaway. And the only other thing you need to do is to be subscribed to either React Decorns or my vlog channel. And that's literally it. And oh my gosh, guys, let's get this video to 150,000 thumbs up. Yes, let's get this video to 150,000 thumbs up. That would be, be amazing. amazing. And without, and without further ado, let's, let's get on with the, the video. video. Let's go. go. Hey, Wenji, I bet you can't draw a perfect circle free hand. Probably can't. That sounds really hard. I can do it. What? No, no way. No. What do you think of this? Nice try, Wenji. Let me show you how to do it. Drawing a perfect circle freehand is pretty much impossible. The trick is to place your fifth knuckle on the paper and then rotate the paper around the knuckle as the rest of your hand stays still. Kind of like a compass. This way you'll get your perfect circle without using any other tool. I bet you can't stand on your left leg. Yeah, I can. That's easy. No, but there's a catch. You gotta have your left shoulder on the wall first. Oh, okay. Let me give it a go. What? Is there like a magnet here or something? What? This is supposed to be easy. Why can't I do it? <laughs> okay, my bad. It's actually impossible. Let me tell you why. This bet seems like it'd be super easy at first until you actually try it out for yourself. Then it'll seem strangely impossible. The reason you won't ever be able to do this is because when you stand on one leg, your center of gravity shifts towards that leg and then your body needs to compensate by moving in that same direction. Unfortunately, in this case, there's a wall in the way. So no matter what you do, you won't be able to keep balance. Hey Wenji, I bet you can't take this cup and put it on the side of the cup and then balance this coin on the other side and have it like balance. Okay. Alright, try it. I can do this. this bet is to use water. Normally the coin is much too heavy to be able to balance on the card, but if you fill the cup full of water so that the surface of the water comes into contact with the card, you'll be able to balance the coin easily. The reason this works is because the surface tension of the water, once in contact with the card, exerts a pulling force downwards which counteracts the weight of the coin. This is actually quite strong and the more surface area of the card that is in contact with the water, the stronger the force and the heavier the coin it can hold. See? Told you it wasn't impossible. Fine. You win this one. I'm gonna get you back. You're like a gamble, I'll pay the price. Thought I could handle something undefined. Oh, so thirsty. I prepared a drink for you. You want it? Oh, really, Wendy? Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. What? How come I can't drink from this? Oh my gosh. 
Do you want to know why? Why would you do this? Eh, science. Such a tease. You can totally prank your friends with this trick. Basically, because one straw is open and the other is underwater, you'll only be able to suck in air from the open straw. This happens because the air travels through the path of least resistance, whereas the water is denser than air and therefore doesn't move up the other straw. However, you can overcome this resistance if you slurp really vigorously or if you cheat like I did. <laughs> Can't blow this tiny scrap piece of paper into this bottle. It looks pretty easy. Well, the rules are you can do whatever you want with the bottle, but you just can't touch this with your hands and put it into the bottle. Want to give it a go? Okay, sure. Looks so easy. Let's do it. Okay, that's right in there. There's a reason why you can't blow a bowl of paper into the bottle opening. And this is because as you blow the air into the bottle, it must also escape through the bottle opening as well. This causes a jet of air to push the paper ball back out. So no matter what you do, the reverse air jet will never allow the paper to go in. The only way to win this particular bet is to let gravity help you. By placing the bottle upright and under the top surface of your table, you can blow the piece of paper off the table and then let gravity do the work as it drops right in. Uh, for practice. Practice what? My my superpowers. Uh, yeah, I can totally drive a straw through that potato clean, straight through. What? No way! Let me try. What? This is impossible! Don't want these superpowers anyways. <laughs> I'll show her how it's done. Unfortunately for me, I don't have superpowers. The secret to this trick is actually quite simple. In order to pierce the solid potato with a simple plastic straw, simply cover the top of the straw with your finger and then stab it right through. This compresses the air within the straw and helps give the sides strength as you stab it into the potato which sounds really violent. Without your finger over the hole, the air would escape and the straw would just end up bending. Hey Wendy, Rich can't take the $50 from under this bottle. Yeah, I can. That's easy. If I do it, I get to keep the money, right? Sure, but there are a few rules. One, you can only touch the note, you can't touch the bottle, and if the bottle falls over, you lose. Alright, done, let's do it! Come to mama! Mm, damn it. Let me show you how it's done. This bet requires some lateral thinking. The problem is, if you try and move the note slowly, the bottle just moves with it. 
If you try to move the note quickly, the bottle falls over. The trick is to roll the note up and then use the rolled note to move the bottle off gently and carefully. You haven't cheated because you haven't touched the bottle. And now you get to keep the money. Ta-da! $50 is mine. And I bet that you can't pour to exactly halfway without a measuring cup. Try it. Uh, what? Okay, Wendy. I don't even know why you're making me do this, but... Oh no! I poured too much out. I'm really confused right now. Let me show you. This bet seems pretty hard to pull off with just using your eyes to guess the water level, but the secret is actually pretty easy. If the cup is shaped like a cylinder, you can perfectly tip out half the water by tipping the cup to the side and pouring out the water so that the level runs from one corner to the other. On regularly shaped cups, this is exactly the halfway point. Now the next question is, is the glass half full or half empty? It's like geometry, right? Bye, Wendy. Wendy, think quick. What? Rock, what? paper, scissors. Yeah, still got it. Hey, I wasn't ready. That's cheating. I want a rematch. Wendy, come back. So did you guys know there's a trick to win more often in rock, paper, scissors? not necessarily just a game of chance. There's actually a lot of research that's gone into this game. And in fact, and I didn't know this, there are professional rock, paper, scissors tournaments held. But for most non-professional players like you and I, here's a few tricks to increase our chances of winning. The first thing you need to do is make it a surprise and not give your opponent any time to think about their move. Next, if they're male, play paper because most males actually default to rock. And if your opponent's female, play rock as most females default to scissors. There are a whole lot of other tricks that you guys can learn online as well. So test these out on your friends and let me know how often you guys get it right. Hey Wendy, I bet you can't move this ketchup packet to the bottom of the bottle. Uh, why do you even have a ketchup packet in a bottle anyways? Anyways, so the rules are you can't tip the bottle upside down and you can't pour the water out. Have a go. All right. Mm. <laughs> Tornado! <laughs> I give up. Let me show you how. The trick to this bet is squeezing the water bottle. But why does squeezing the bottle cause the ketchup packet to sink to the bottom? The answer again has to do with air molecules. I know you guys are pretty clever, so I want you to tell me how this trick works by leaving your answer in the comments below. Look at that! <laughs> so cool! What? No way! That was so fun pulling pranks on you, and you guys can do it too. And that's right, if you guys do this at home yourself, don't forget to hashtag us on WendyCorns, we'd love to see it. And don't forget to check out our other channel, ReactiCorns. Let's check out what we did this week, right Wendy? It's pretty fun. Yeah, let's totally check out what happened. When I cooked tomato for him, he'll eat it and then he'll like pull out the little skin and then just like put it on the table or something and I'd be like... It's an, it's an ice cream cake shaped like a roast chicken. <laughs> That's so weird! What the heck? Who thought that this was a good idea? Ooh, ooh, would you eat that? No! That's pretty good! No, it doesn't! And until next week, we're gonna miss you guys so much! Yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys too! Okay guys, bye!